Good morning, class of 2020, and welcome to your commencement ceremony. To our Oregon Tech graduating class, honored keynote speaker, U.S. Senator Jeff Merkley, trustees, faculty, staff, families, and friends. Good morning to you. While we are not together here physically, you are still in front of my eyes very much, as you are in the front of the eyes of everyone here at Oregon Tech who is reaching out across the virtual miles of bandwidth to celebrate this special day with you. You are probably attending today's ceremony from your living room or some other space, as together we recognize the many achievements of the class of 2020. All of us at Oregon Tech want to extend our welcome to the families and friends of the graduating class. Thank you for all that you have done to help get these students to the finish line of their degree programs and the starting gate of their professional future. Graduates, as the class of 2020, an imperative has fallen on you that you did not ask for and did not expect. Our world changed so dramatically and so quickly almost overnight in ways that have affected just about everyone, not just in our neighborhoods or our states and even our country, but globally. While you likely have some strong feelings about having to miss the important rite of passage of an in-person commencement ceremony as we do, I must tell you, something very important and very real. This is your time. Yes, this is your time. What do I mean by that? Let me explain by giving you the gift of the wise words of Mahatma Gandhi. Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. There is no doubt that this is a time of struggle, one that you and everyone listening today is feeling. That time of struggle that Gandhi talked about taps into a strength that you may not even know you have. You are a brilliant generation of graduates. You have just spent several years pushing yourself in courses and experiences that made you think, stretched your intellect, pushed you past what you thought were the limits of your mind. You went to a place where you created new ideas and approaches, and that leads you to a new place. You have grown into an innovator. You are the graduating class who is not satisfied with the status quo in technology and tools. In fact, status quo is not in your vocabulary. That is who you are. And that makes you the ones who we need to jump into action right now. We need you, who you have become to help our communities, our country and our world get through this incredible challenge that none of us can hide from. You are the rear flank the fresh talent, the pinch hitters, the rising stars, the innovators. If there was ever a time when we have to innovate at speeds never known before, this is it. I wish this were going to be a quick recovery for our country and the communities in which we live. But we know we are in this for many months to come. Innovation that we haven't seen in a while is happening in real time. And after the pandemic is over, we will see it applied to other parts of our world and our lives. Your generation will lead that. That is who you are. It is auspicious and perhaps also destiny that you are graduating in the year 2020. This year, this number is associated with clarity in vision. 2020 vision. You are the class of 2020, the class that has the capacity for creating a vision of where we will go now as a world community. 
the class that will lead the next generation of innovation directed at building up from times of struggles. These are the moments that break paradigms in what we think our limits are. The class of 2020 will be known for that, for those breakthroughs, for the big ideas, for the tenacity that will make the naysayers irrelevant. The 2020 vision of your class will take that as a challenge and not as a barrier. Now after a storm, and in this case a perfect storm, the sky clears, the sun returns, and there is a kind of perfect vision. We will be entering that calm after the storm at some point this year when skies clear and it seems almost impossible that we just went through a storm that altered the landscape of our entire world. You and all of us have now experienced something many generations before us have not ever seen. I have come to learn from my own life experiences that these are also the moments when we realize that it is our connection to each other that is most important. Everything less important has just fallen away. Not everyone gains this context, but people who have seen a lot or sometimes seen even too much certainly have a wisdom about them they know what's important, that they can't waste their time in, on trivia. That they have been handed an imperative. Yes, you are clearly among them. I know you are prepared to go out and transform the world, and so do all of your professors and staff who have supported you as well as your families and friends. And when you help the world overcome this tremendous time of challenge and struggle, you will know that you have been part of bringing us back. And that class of 2020 is your legacy. And that is your 2020 vision. Congratulations, Oregon Tech graduates, on your achievements. It's now my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, Ms. Jessica Gomez, who is chair of the Oregon Tech Board of Trustees. Ms. Gomez has provided wisdom and guidance as a trustee for the last six years, and she now serves as the chair of the board. Ms. Gomez has provided the same leadership as the founder, president, and chief executive officer of Rogue Valley Micro Devices. Ms. Gomez began her technical career at uh, Standard Microsystems, and later joined Integrated Micro Machines, Inc. in California. While there, she developed a love for entrepreneurship and soon fulfilled it when she relocated to Medford, Oregon and founded Rogue Valley Micro Devices. Chair Gomez is a leader in the business community in Medford and Southern Oregon and cares about the education and economic conditions statewide. This includes serving as a leader in many organizations, such as the Medford Rogue Rotary Club, the Sustainable Valley Technology Group, where she serves as board president, and as part of many other councils, as chair of the Rogue Workforce Development Council in Southern Oregon and the Oregon Workforce Investment Board. Thank you, Chair Gomez, for all that you do for the state of Oregon and for Oregon Tech, and for being here today to honor our distinguished graduates. Please join me in welcoming our board chair, Jessica Gomez. Thank you, Dr. Naganathan, for that introduction. And good morning, class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations. It is an honor to be here representing the Oregon Tech Board of Trustees to celebrate this special day and your accomplishments with you. Graduates, families and friends. Although we are unable to gather together in person, I am still grateful for this opportunity to connect with you virtually. What an incredible time to be alive. Together, we have the opportunity to witness and to help solve what may be one of the greatest challenges of this century. As we unite to build a safer future for our children and our grandchildren, those who are graduating today will become what, what and what will embody our greatest hope for the future. 
Developing and delivering innovative solutions for business, healthcare, education, and communications, solutions that will be required for humanity to continue moving forward. I feel a great responsibility in communicating how very important your achievements are and will be in the future. As we send you off into a world filled with challenges, knowing that you will be relied upon to help your families, colleagues, and communities navigate through these very uncertain times. What can I say to keep you inspired? Except that I see how hard you have worked for the opportunities to achieve greatness in your life and your careers. I see how prepared you are to now contribute to your chosen field. You have been immersed in a world of discovery, both personally and professionally. You have been given room to explore, invent, fail, reinvent, all while learning the latest practices and techniques in an environment supported by top faculty and industry mentors. You are ready. And at the, as the next generation of innovators, you are desperately needed. Always remember that the challenges you overcome in life will give you a special appreciation for the power of perseverance. The generation born at the early part of the 20th century was given the title, the greatest generation. They were indeed great, but not only for what they had accomplished, but what challenges they had to overcome. They were born around the time when millions of people, many of whom were children, were losing their lives to what was called the Spanish flu, the pandemic of 1918. They were, they were lucky enough to survive the flu. They went on to endure the Great Depression. That Great Depression lasted 10 long years to the beginning of World War II. Many of those who survived the flu and the Depression ultimately lost their lives in the war. Despite these great hardships and suffering, that generation of young people went to go on and do incredible things. They invented vaccines for numerous deadly diseases, invented the transistor and integrated circuits, and put a man on the moon. They were the greatest generation because they never gave up. They had been through it all and yet didn't hesitate to take on the next challenge. And neither will you. Why do I have so much faith in you? Many of you grew up during a time when the world was still grappling with the events of September 11th. Your families had to endure the Great Recession of 2008, and now you are quickly adapting to a post-COVID-19 world. You are battle-tested. You are not victim victims, but survivors. Your perseverance will inspire you to do great things, and perhaps 50 years from now, they will be calling you the greatest generation. Congratulations, class of 2020. I cannot wait to see where you take our world. Thank you, Chair Gomez, for that special message to our students. The potential for innovation is as broad and diverse as the talents of our students. Thank you for your inspirational remarks. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you this year's commencement speaker, Honorable U.S. Senator Jeff Merkley. Born in the lumber town of Myrtle Creek, Oregon, Senator Merkley is the son of a millwright and the first in his family to attend college. After earning an undergraduate degree from Stanford, and graduate degree in public policy at Princeton's Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs. Mr. Merkley worked as a national security analyst at the Pentagon and at the Congressional Budget Office. In 1991, Senator Merkley returned to Oregon to lead Portland's Habitat for Humanity and served as president of the World Affairs Council before entering the Oregon's House of Representatives in 1998. Senator Merkley became Speaker of the House in 2007, leading the most productive legislative session in decades, including increases for education, expanded access to affordable prescription drugs, and Oregon's first ever rainy day fund, among many other accomplishments. In the US Senate, Senator Merkley continues to fight to create living wage jobs, to push back on unfair trade policies that ship Oregon's jobs overseas, 
and fight to save our planet from climate change. He has worked on college affordability, retirement security for seniors, and led reforms to break up Senate gridlock. Senator Merkley serves on the Senate Committees on Appropriations, the Environment and Public Works, Budget, and Foreign Relations. And now, from his Senate office in Washington, D.C., it is my distinct pleasure to welcome the Honorable U.S. Senator Jeff Merkley to provide this year's commencement address. Greetings and congratulations to the Oregon Tech Class of 2020. Over the years, I've had the privilege of delivering commencement addresses, but this year is unique. Instead of being together in Mole Stadium, surrounded by Southern Oregon's majestic beauty, I'm speaking from my office in Washington, D.C., to all of you gathered in the comfort and safety of your homes. It's not the ceremony any of us would have envisioned. But don't for a second think that the uniqueness of this celebration takes away one bit from your achievements. I want to thank Dr. Nagy and all of Oregon Tech faculty and staff who have been committed to celebrating you with all the pomp and circumstances that your graduation deserves. As I pondered what to say to you all and thought about the skills you have developed during your time at Oregon Tech, I thought about the children's book called, What Do You Do With an Idea? One day, out of the blue, this young boy has an idea. He doesn't know why or what to do about it, but the idea stays with him and it grows. He's afraid to show it to anyone because he's worried about what others will think, but he continues to feed and nourish this idea of his and eventually it grows so big that it cannot be contained any longer. The story ends like this, and I quote, one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea, you change the world. The history of human progress is the history of ideas that change the world. Someone once had a brilliant idea that instead of traveling on foot, we could ride horses. And someone else came along and had the idea of wheels, and we had wagons, and then combustion engines, and we had cars and trucks. And then the Wright brothers and hundreds of other tech experts to follow who had the idea of leaving the ground. And now we can fly anywhere in the world in just hours. One idea after another changed the world. But hand in hand with that incredible human progress come new challenges that require new technologies. To take on these technologies, we need new ideas, new leaders, new ways of thinking. How do we design better buildings, a better internet, better water systems and waste treatment? How do we modify our buildings to prepare for the big one or block the spread of coronavirus? How do we rebuild our energy economy to eliminate carbon pollution? When the world says how, those who specialize in technology answer, here's how. That's where you, the Oregon Tech class, of 2020 come in. Each of you has the instincts and the training to develop better designs to take on the challenges of this moment and the years to come. When I think about the types of expertise our world needs to move forward, the answer reads like a list of majors from Oregon Tech. To build better machines and buildings, civil, electrical, mechanical engineering, to process and expand all the information of the world, information technologies, computer engineering, to rebuild the energy systems of the future, renewable energy engineering, to build better health systems, healthcare management, and health informatics. We need all your ideas and help to build a better world. All those sitting with you in your homes today are really proud of you. All of you have accomplished and all you will accomplish. But most of you arrived at this moment in part because of the help of those around you. Take a moment. Look around the room where you sit and thank those who have helped pave the path to this moment. Family members who encouraged you to pursue your dreams. Parents who not only wanted you to thrive, in many cases, they helped foot the cost of college. A big thanks to mom and dad. And I wanna give extra congratulations to those of you who are the first in your family to graduate from college. Stand up and take a bow. I was the first in my family, and I well remember the stress I felt launching into unknown territory. 
I remember halfway through college, as I was struggling to figure out what direction to go, I told my family that it would truly be a miracle if I was ever to graduate. But with the support of family, I did make it. And with the support of family, you have made it. You have paved a new path, a path that will not only be a foundation for your life, but for generations to come. Some of you right now are a little terrified of what comes next, especially in the midst of a pandemic and an economic implosion. But here's what I know. When you are equipped with a tech degree, you are in the best possible position for the jobs of the future. Oregon Tech graduates that have preceded you are doing great things, and so will you. Graduates like Krista Galloway of the class of 2017, who always wanted to work in an area related to outer space. So she took her degrees in renewable energy engineering and electrical engineering and turned them into a job in Northrop Grumman's aerospace systems sector. And Mike Stark, class of 89, who, using his mechanical engineering degree, runs the Boeing plant in Gresham and oversees 1,500 employees. Like Krista and Mike and so many others, Oregon Tech has set you up for success. You are in a unique position to use what you've learned and the knowledge that you can overcome any obstacle in your way, including a global pandemic, to create those ideas that will change the world. Many of you already have done so. In Upper Klamath Lake, the sucker fish population, which plays a critical role in the lake's ecosystem, as well in the culture of the Klamath tribes, has been dying off for years. The problem is that warmer water and phosphorus runoff trigger the growth of algae, and when the algae die and decompose, they strip oxygen from the water, damaging the fish. So a group of you took on this challenge and designed solar-powered rafts that pump air into the lake. Will this make a difference? Yes. Remember this. There are no failed experiments. Either you learn when an experiment goes as hoped, or you learn when it doesn't go as hoped. In either case, what you learn generates new ideas to consider and strategies to solve the problem. Earlier this year, a team of Oregon Tech business students won a national case study competition by creating a marketing strategy to help a startup company break into the US marketplace. That company is developing smart glasses that enable people to control a motorized wheelchair hands-free just by moving their heads. Think of the real world benefits that this innovative medical technology could have for millions of Americans. Instead of sitting back and relaxing over spring break, a number of you spent time making face shields, respirator masks, and changeable filters, and adapting CPAP machines into ventilators for local hospitals and clinics. In the face of a national emergency, you stepped up to help the folks working on the front lines protect themselves and get critical life-saving technology to sick Oregonians. That's leadership. I have faith in you, the class of 2020 that you will be able to overcome any obstacle thrown in your way because you've already shown the leadership that is needed to bring us to a brighter future. Congratulations again to the Oregon Tech class of 2020. I cannot wait to see what ideas you all come up with as you work to change the world. May your ideas, like the idea of the little boy in the book, what do you do with an idea? Spread their wings, take flight, and burst into the sky. Senator Merkley, thank you for your most insightful words to our graduates as they begin their careers. You have made today a very memorable celebration for our students, their families, and for all of us. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Aaron Foley, Vice President of Student Affairs and Dean of Students, who will recognize our student awardees who have achieved special accomplishments during their time at Oregon Tech. Dr. Foley has led our Student Affairs Division for 21 years, mentoring and supporting students to ensure their success. Her many responsibilities at Oregon Tech include student life, housing, the health center, retention, public safety, and athletics. As you can see from her portfolio, Dr. Foley's attention is always on our students and their success. Thank you, Dr. Foley, for all you do every day and for being a consistent rock of support for our students. Please join me now in welcoming Dr. Foley to recognize the Student Awards of Excellence.
Thank you, President Naganathan, for that introduction. This has always been my favorite time of year when I get to help celebrate the achievements of Oregon Tech graduates. It's also a bittersweet time because I'm saying goodbye to another class of students. I, along with many others, will always remember this class with your unique way of finishing. I'm hopeful that you will return to campus in the near future so I can congratulate you in person. Thank you for being a part of everything that makes Oregon Tech a very special place, and congratulations. All right, now on to the presentation of student awards. Starting with awards for four students from any campus location. This year's Graduate Student Achievement Award goes to Noah Neiman. The Hiram M. Hunt Award recipient is Strix Engineering, which includes Brandon Foose, Bryson Lamapu, and Noah Kaysen. The most dedicated student award this year goes to Rowan Parker. The Oregon Tech Pride Award recipient is the Business Competition Team, a group of four students, Quinn DiMaggio, Tanner Karp, Jared McBride, and Peter Simonson. The Outstanding Community Service Award goes to Megan Ross. Outstanding Non-Traditional Student Award this year goes to Sally Sutton. The Owen Citizenship Award this year honors Brittany Ailes. And the Student Achievement Award goes to Satomi Kiriakidis. And now for the student awards from the Portland Metro Campus in Wilsonville. The Outstanding Academic Achievement Award goes to Jeremy Cummings. The Outstanding Community Service Award goes to co-winners this year, Davia Fleming and Jacob Alleman. And the Outstanding Student Involvement Award honor goes to Nashmi Luna. Each year, the Oregon Tech academic departments select one outstanding scholar. These scholars are listed in the commencement program and on the graduation website, or in the booklet you should have received in the mail. Scholars, while we cannot be with you in person today, we recognize your achievements and, and send your congratulations across the cybersphere. From those outstanding scholars, the President's Senior Cup recipients are chosen. Recipients of the 20, 2020 President's Senior Cup are Tanner Karp from the College of Engineering, Technology, and Management, and Jun Min Yi from the College of Heart, Health, Arts, and Sciences. Congratulations and best wishes to all of our student awardees and graduates. Thank you, Dr. Foley. I know that all of our students who are watching today, thank you for your caring support during the journey at Oregon Tech. I am pleased and proud now to introduce our student speaker, Clark Anderson, from the College of Engineering, Technology, and Management on the Klamath Falls campus. Originally from Tigard, Clark has been pursuing his degree at Oregon Tech for five years, but has been involved in the institution for eight years. Ever since his wife began working in the admissions office in 2012, he has supported and helped Oregon Tech with recruitment events to start with and later began volunteering for other activities at Oregon Tech. His involvement as a student at Oregon Tech has included helping with almost every Music Garden summer concert, panels at preview days, registration event tours, and serving on committees including the Commission on College Teaching and the Sexual Misconduct Commission, the latter which produced a successful proposal for an informational display that is used on our campus today. Also helping as a student worker, Clark's most recent position was in the Office of International Student Services, an opportunity he deeply cherished to get closely acquainted with the diverse and valued community of students he may not have met otherwise. Graduating from electrical engineering, Clark has already secured employment with Intel in Hillsboro, Oregon. Please join me in welcoming our student speaker, Clark Anderson.
thank you, Dr. Nagy, and hello. Um, as he said, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Clark Anderson, and I am graduating Oregon Tech with a degree in electrical engineering, much to the amazement of those who do know me, and much to the relief of my family. Uh, and I want to take a moment here to attempt to express my gratitude to my wife um, for her patience and persistence and for sticking with me through what has turned out to be a much longer journey than it probably should have been. Um, and to my daughter, who whether or not she understands what's happening, uh, has, has always been happy to see me regardless of how much time um, I've had to spend away from home um, or unable to play uh, because of schoolwork. I love you, Lucy. Um, so here we are. Uh, all of the years and the um, stress and the energy and the money that we've put in have led us here. Um, this certainly isn't what any of us could have possibly imagined the end of our college careers would look like. Uh, but let's be honest, this pomp and circumstance, such that it is, isn't really why we've damn near killed ourselves these last few years, nor is it truly the end. Um, in keeping with Oregon Tech's vocational school roots, we're here to get a job. Uh, we suffered for the sake of our future. And I'm not gonna talk about the last minute scrambles or the cram sessions or the sleepless nights. I'm not gonna talk about the stress or the tears or the sleepless nights. And I'm not gonna talk about the failed exams or the classes retaken or the sleepless nights. And I most certainly will not be talking about COVID because ultimately what matters is that we're here. We've made it. We're all leaving having achieved the same goal. We have our degree, not necessarily in hand, but close enough. And most of us probably already have jobs. If you don't, you soon will. It's such a cliche, but nothing could be more true to say that this is the beginning of the rest of our lives. We're headed into a new season. And I know a lot of you, the world has no idea what it's in for. Ready or not, it's our time. Now, uh, some of you may not have known that Oregon Tech started as a vocational school, uh, providing war veterans with the training and knowledge they would need to get jobs in the civilian sector. Uh, then it started offering associate degree programs and became Oregon Technical Institute, uh, which my own mother graduated from, uh, before finally becoming Oregon Institute of Technology. However, that focus on practical training and job placement holds true to this day and is a large part of why most of us, or at least I, chose Oregon Tech. Hands-on learning permeates this institution and with almost every single faculty member uh, having made a living doing what they're teaching us. And that makes a huge difference in the quality and relevance of the education we've received. I would be willing to bet a rather large sum of money that every single one of us has had at least one professor tell a story, uh, some more than others, uh, of some experience they've had in our chosen industry. It means that we are better prepared than most to head out into the world and be productive members of society. However, I wanna encourage you to be more, more than simply productive, more than just another cog in the machine, more than just another average employee. Be bold. Be brave, be confident, speak up, stand out, ask questions, make yourself indispensable. Do not simply sit by while others rise around you. Don't be afraid to push boundaries, try new things, learn new skills, change jobs, pursue your dream career. Innovation and self-improvement are what separate humanity from the animals. We are not content to simply survive. We take what we have and make it better, stronger, faster, further, longer, effective, efficient. Whether you're designing power substations or bridges, software, a new marketing strategy, or a new alloy, uh, whether it's something with solar panels or a factory or some new math equation to torture college students with, or whatever it is geomatic students do, uh, do it so damn well they can't help but notice. Don't just be on the cutting edge, define it. Make those around you question themselves and wonder what they're missing. We bet Oregon Tech on our shoulders, and just as every graduate before us has ensured the strength and reputation of this school throughout their careers, it's our responsibility to maintain the legacy of this institution. It's that reputation 
that makes Oregon Tech what it is and what it was for us. We not only have an obligation to ourselves and to our future employers and coworkers to be the best that we can be, but also to each other, to our professors, and to every Oregon Tech student to come. In short, leave every place you go better than when you found it. Make an impact, leave a legacy that will make you proud of yourself, everyone around you proud to have known you, and Oregon Tech proud to have been part of your story. Thank you. Thank you, Clark, for those heartfelt remarks. It has been a pleasure to know you, and I wish you the very best in your professional and personal life. Thank you for your contributions to Oregon Tech and our students in so many ways, and I am sure you will continue to impact many more students as a caring and devoted Oregon Tech alumnus. It is now my pleasure to welcome Oregon Tech's provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Joanna Mott, to the podium for the presentation of our graduates. Dr. Mott joined Oregon Tech as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs last summer, and since then has led many important initiatives in support of our academic enterprise and our students, taken on many, many extra duties, including the leadership of enrollment management, and most recently has helped the university to adapt very quickly to remote teaching and remote student support in response to the impact of COVID-19. I doubt that Dr. Mart has ever had such an exciting first nine months in any other job uh, compared to what she has had at Oregon Tech so far. Before joining Oregon Tech, Dr. Mart served in several roles at different institutions. These included serving as Dean and Professor of Biological Sciences in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics at California State University, Sacramento. Department Head of Biology at James Madison University in Virginia, and a faculty member and Department Chair of Life Sciences at Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi. Please join me now in welcoming Oregon Tech's Provost, Dr. Joanna Mott, to present our graduates. Thank you, Dr. Naganathan. While a physically distanced and virtual ceremony is new to all of us, we want to keep the ceremony true to the usual pomp and circumstance. So we invite you to rise as we confer your degree, wherever you are, in this formal part of today's ceremony. Will the graduates for the Oregon Institute of Technology's bachelor's and master's degrees in the College of Engineering, Technology, and Management please rise? Will the faculty also please rise? President Naganathan, these students who comprise the class of 2020 are candidates for the associate, bachelor's, and master's degrees in their respective fields. Upon completion of their required curriculum, they are recommended by the faculty to receive their degrees. Thank you, Provost Mott. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the State of Oregon and the trustees of the Oregon Institute of Technology, I do confer upon all of the qualified candidates, including those in absentia, the associate bachelor's and master's degrees in the College of Engineering, Technology, and Management for which they have met the requirements. You are charged with the duties and responsibilities of the degree and granted the privileges and prerogatives appertaining thereto. Congratulations, class of 2020. Let's congratulate them together from wherever you are watching from with a giant round of applause. And now we will begin the recognition ceremony for our graduates. Dr. Tom Kaiser, Dean of the College of Engineering, Technology and Management, along with Dr. Franny House and Ms. Carmen Morgan, will now recognize each of the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Naganathan. We will begin with the graduates of the Department of Civil Engineering. The first degree in the School of Engineering, Technology, and Management is Master of Science, Civil Engineering. Trevor Davis, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering. Tau Beta Pi. K. 
Caleb Allen Klein, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Tau Beta Pi. Garrett Stevens, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering. Efren Alonzo Zambrano. Tyler Donovan Anderson. Elizabeth Nicole Cox. Jason Elliott, magna cum laude, tau beta pi. Cody Faber. Kainoa Jordan Fong. Chasen Hanashiro. Alexander J. Holland, summa cum laude. Joshua Kallstrom. Donnie Pate. Bailey Pimentel. Thomas Warren Volk. Jacob Sparrow Woody. Joseph Allen Young. Hi graduates, I come to you from the underside of a bridge where like this bearing pad, I hope that you have remained resilient in the face of enormous stress and strain this year and that ultimately you have a long life ahead. Um, you can hear the traffic. Um, life goes on and I wish you all the best. Next, we will recognize the graduates of Computer Systems Engineering Technology. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Embedded Systems Engineering Technology. Garrett Lauren Fector, summa cum laude. Brandon Roger Fletcher. Kyle Frischman. Marie May. Summa cum laude, outstanding scholar. Stephen Christopher Morales, magna cum laude. Cameron Quenzer, cum laude. Alexander Robinson. Eddie Sackinger. Brandon Walter, cum laude. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Software Engineering Technology, led by outstanding scholar, Junmin Yi, also graduating with the Bachelor of Science, Applied Mathematics, summa cum laude, President's Senior Cup Award. Shant Uhuja. Abdullah Mutaz Al Shawa, cum laude. Josh Bailey, summa cum laude. Samuel Bishop. Riggs DeWitt Burnham. Timothy Capehart, cum laude. Alex Castro. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering Technology, summa cum laude, outstanding scholar. Chelsea Christensen. Arthur James Clark. Isa Graham Cowie. Aaron J. Dill. Andrew Dozier, magna cum laude. Whitney Duarte. Derek Edwards, cum laude. Peter Fortenberry. Andrew Horn, summa cum laude. Jake Knutson. Magna cum laude. Quinn 
Mackay, Tucker Myers, Jeffrey Ottenad, summa cum laude, Tyler Page, cum laude, Matthew Parapato, Yenny A. Porwanto, Nicholas Slaughter, cum laude, Nathaniel Swenson, Kelly Van Meter, Matthew Willoughby. Congrats to the grad, today is your day. We hope you find joy in your journey as you now fly away. We can't wait to see the things you'll make. We'll wait for your update here near the lake. Congrats. Hello, Portland Metro CSET software graduates. Congratulations. I am so happy for you. I wanna wish you all the best for the future. I also want to do a special shout out to Kobe Green, who is Poland Metro Software Outstanding Scholar. Way to go, Kobe. Congratulations. Take care, everyone. Please stay in touch. Hi, I'm Galen Marr, and on behalf of all of the Student Health staff, we just want to say congrats to the class of 2020. And on a personal note, I just want to tell Nicholas Marr how proud I am of you. You're my shield hero, Kierto, and All Might all rolled into one, plus Ultra. I'm giving another A, yeah, yeah. Yes, you'll be on your way. You won't be back to stay. Don't you forget my stories. Prosper and live happily forever. The graduates of the Department of Electrical Engineering will now be recognized. The next degree is Master of Science, Engineering. Thomas Bridges, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Zachary Hoffman. Olga Skyberg, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, Outstanding Scholar. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, led by Outstanding Scholar, Kyle Wingenroth, cum laude. Athby Nayef Alanezi. Khalil Al-Kaibari, cum laude. Majed Dubayan Al-Majdi. Muhammad Al-Khatan. Moayed Al-Salman. Rayed Al-Taraif. Clark Anderson. Elmar Charoeng Sangsa, magna cum laude. Arnold Fernandez, cum laude. Ian Gordon. Jose Allen Jaquinde. Jed Kimbrough. Justin Laughlin. Richard Yui Lee. Nathaniel Lashku. Curtis Lepley. Christian Livingston, cum laude. Francisco Lopez Hernandez. Aaron Lukash. Lars Nelty. John Nunnally. Ronnie Tucker Red. Scott Sourwine. 
Arash Sobani, cum laude. Jarrett Tyra, magna cum laude, tau beta pi. The next degree is electronics engineering technology. Austin Hankins. The next degree is Master of Science, Renewable Energy Engineering, Yaman Abu Jieb. Mason Adams. Justin Maloney. Mohammed Tesar. Jessica Shelby York also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Renewable Energy Engineering, Tau Beta Pi. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Renewable Energy Engineering, led by outstanding scholar, Muhammad Abdulatif Bawazir, summa cum laude, Tau Beta Pi. Ali Ashlowi, cum laude. Cameron Barnhart. Amy Noel Bruner, magna cum laude, tau beta pi, NAIA scholar athlete. Joshua Davis, also graduating with the Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Abubakar Omar Dekur. Brandon Erickson. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, summa cum laude, NAIA Scholar Athlete. Darren Fernandez. Jose Allen Jacundi. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Annika Kalstrom. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, summa cum laude, Outstanding Scholar. Kami Kutsunai, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, magna cum laude, tau, beta, pi. Jessica Nasef, magna cum laude, Outstanding Scholar. Robert Oling, magna cum laude, tau, beta, pi. Caleb Schott, cum laude. Wisam Awad Saleh Shanib. Ross Season. Alexander Smith. Tomas Tapart. Congratulations. You did it. Now you're much more stronger. Good luck. Congratulations, credit of 2020. For sure, I'll miss seeing you around at OIT. I am confident that you gained the skills needed by national and international industries. So go for it. Hey, everybody. It's Officer Bowman from Campus Safety. Just wanted to say congratulations on graduation. Uh, these are challenging times, definitely, but you guys did it and adapted to the circumstances, and we're all very proud of you. Good luck. Hey there, Class of 2020. Congratulations. Job well done. This is Alan Douglas from the EERE department. Take care, be safe, and stay healthy. Congratulations, 2020 graduates of the bachelor's and master's degrees in renewable energy engineering. You are ready to face the world. All the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. If you can get through this, you can get through anything. You've shown your strength and resiliency even in these strange times. I'm hoping that whatever you do, you have fun and it's meaningful to you. Just remember that you know you're watching a 90s movie when your phone is just a phone. Those were the good old days. Anyway, good old days, more good days ahead. As I said, I'm very, very proud of you. Congratulations, everyone, and uh, Godspeed. Next, we recognize the graduates of the Department of Geomatics.
The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Geomatics, Geographic Information Systems. Paul Avery Walborn. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Geomatics, Surveying Option, led by Outstanding Scholar, Dana London, summa cum laude. Calvin Baker. Riley Edwards. Marcus Helm. Matthew Larinata, cum laude. Jonathan Red. Kenneth Tynan. Hello, this is Mason Marker from the Department of Geomatics. I just want to wish the class of 2020 congratulations on a job well done and wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors. Hi everyone. I just want to say congratulations for finishing out this year. Uh, how crazy it's been. Um, you've all done such a great job of adapting and getting through it. And I just want to say congratulations to you. And I wish you the best for whatever is coming next in your life. Congratulations, class of 2020. My hope for you is that you continue to find ways to celebrate this incredible achievement. It's no small deal. We're all here supporting you and celebrating too. The graduates of the Department of Management will now be recognized. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Health Informatics, led by outstanding scholar, Brooke Higgins. Mitch Ryan, cum laude. Carol Ann Wolterman. The next degree is Bachelor of Science Information Technology. Kusai Al Kafshat. Mohammed Al Kafshat. Shek Bandogo. Matthew Bunch. Saeed Hussein Hassani, cum laude. William Hott. Matthew Kyle Johnson, cum laude. Ashkan Kordmahale, magna cum laude. Sean Lucas, magna cum laude. Nina McCoy, cum laude. Ryan Stewart Tang Minor. Brett Kenneth Nearing. Jonathan Nguyen, summa cum laude. Tammy Piekarski, summa cum laude. Alex Rotman, cum laude. Alexander Roy, summa cum laude. Kevin Versteg. Peter Wantuck, cum laude. Fuller E. Worman. The next degree is Bachelor of Science Information Technology Applications Development. Pat Barnett. Dwayne Johnson, cum laude. Nico Parker. The next degree is Information Technology Health Informatics Option. Lori Adams. The next degree is Bachelor of Science Healthcare Management Administration Option. Carly May Boren. Madeline Ann Fries. Samantha Jean Hinkle. Bailey Nicole Thorne. Amber Von Essen. Shauna Casey Yelton, cum laude. 
The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Healthcare Management, Clinical Management Option, led by outstanding scholar, Britannia Monroe, magna cum laude. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Jacqueline Reyes Taquinez. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Business, Management Option, led by outstanding scholar, Jared McBride, summa cum laude, NAIA Scholar Athlete, Oregon Tech Pride Award. Abigail Marie Curtis. Caitlin Flores, magna cum laude. Madeline Sattler. The next degree is Bachelor of Science Business Marketing Option, led by outstanding scholar Tanner Karp, summa cum laude, President Senior Cup Award, Oregon Tech Pride Award. Cassidy Ray Beery. Christian J. Myers, cum laude. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Operations Management, led by outstanding scholar, Quinn Demicio, summa cum laude, Oregon Tech Pride Award. Alden Chu. Christiana Davis, magna cum laude. Patrick Hammond. Nick McCaslin. Victor Rios, cum laude, NAIA Scholar Athlete. The next degree is Bachelor of Applied Science, Technology and Management. John Patrick Curtis. Amanda Vargas. Don Zimmerman Zangi. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so honored to have had the privilege to get to know and work with each of you. Seeing your efforts, dedication, and ability to overcome adversities and challenges just shows that whatever you do, you're gonna do really well. Congratulations, Oregon Tech grads. Your resilience, courage, and adaptability have been truly inspirational to us. You are definitely our future. Once again, congrats, the best to you and your families. And by the way, you guys rock. Hello, Oregon Tech graduates. During extraordinary times, you continue to inspire me with your strong will, focus, and compassion for others. These are the qualities that you will use over and over as you move to the next chapters in your lives. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. You probably thought this day would never come, but it is here and you have succeeded wonderfully. I wish you the best of luck in your careers and in your life. Keep in touch. We always want to hear from our alumni. Congratulations on graduating. You have just completed a huge accomplishment and done a fantastic job. Thank you for sharing your time with us here at Oregon Tech. Congratulations to the class of 2020. And remember to always bloom wherever you're planted and be the beautiful burst of spring colors to enhance your community and the world. We're counting on you. And what do you say to such an exceptional class? Like, congratulations just seems to fall short. You guys rocked it in every way. And as you go out to claim your life, remember the words of Jim Elliott who said, you're no fool if you give what you cannot keep to gain what you cannot lose. As Michael G. Scott might say, you have no idea how high you can fly. Embrace that. This is your time, class of 2020, to spread your wings and fly to new and exciting places. Congratulations, class of 2020, from Terry Torres and your 200,000 bees on campus. Best luck in the future. Congratulations on your graduation. Best wishes for the journey ahead. Business and IT majors, you rock. 
Hello, class of 2020. This is your Uncle Pat. Hey, congratulations on your degree. You know, your degree is your ticket to play. But with your uh, new knowledge, I just want to give you three more pieces of advice. With your new knowledge, use it wisely, share it generously, and remember, always dare to fail. Again, congratulations. Now go get in the game. The graduates of the Manufacturing and Mechanical Engineering and Technology Department will now be recognized. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Danny Halili. Ben Schechtman. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering led by outstanding scholar Kynan Mackenzie Nordahl, summa cum laude, tau beta pi. Abdulaziz Mesfer Alhajiri. Jacob Alleman, Community Service Award. Ali Al Youssef. Sophia Azevedo, summa cum laude, tau beta pi. Jared Bott, summa cum laude, outstanding scholar, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Jacob Henry Kahn. Chase Sindrick. Jeremy Cummings, Academic Achievement Award. Danielle De Castro, summa cum laude, tau beta pi, NAIA Scholar Athlete. Kirsten Lee Kepler Farber. Michael James Frank. Sean Joseph Griffith, cum laude. Lucas Hale. Eric Paul Harwood. Dusty Jenny Geneva Enos. Gunnar Kruger, summa cum laude. Bryson Lee, Kiana Halelua Lemapu, Hiram M. Hunt Award. Cynthia Marker. Avery McMillan. Luis Montes, cum laude, tau beta pi. Jackson P. Morgan. Magna cum laude, tau beta pi. Justin Allen Shigeru Nichols. Matthew Stephen Olson. Zachary Parker Olson. Joe Parazzo III, magna cum laude. Larry Raymond. Connor Riley Skidlerick, cum laude, tau beta pi. Paul J. Spillane, Jr. Brendan Sullivan. Andrew Taylor. Summa cum laude, tau, beta, pi. William Thoddy, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology, cum laude. Jade Trong, cum laude. Joshua Vandenberg. Valerie Vinogradov, T. 
Tyler Westfall, cum laude. The next degree is Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, Technology, led by Outstanding Scholar Matthew Lyle Hodge, cum laude. Ibrahim Alrishidan. Christopher Canetti, also graduating with the Bachelor of Science, Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Wes McDaniel. Hector Valdez. Hey, Oregon Tech seniors. Just want to say congrats on graduating this year. It's been really tough with everything going on in the world, but you put that all aside and uh, we're able to persevere. Um, we're very proud of you and we wish you continued success in your next chapter. Congratulations 2020 graduates. I wish you great success in your lives and in your future professional careers. Congratulations. Well, congratulations on getting through probably one of the toughest degrees you could have chosen. We're all real proud of you here at OIT and love to hear back from you once you've graduated. You take care. Class of 2020, congratulations. I hope your dreams take you to the highest of your hopes. There is one thing certain during this uncertain time. You are graduate, so enjoy your time. I just want to give a huge shout out to all the mechanical and manufacturing engineers. I know this is not how we intended to finish the year, but I'm proud of you for pushing through and getting the job done. Congratulations, the graduates of the MMET department. You've been through a lot of stress. It's the time to celebrate. However, don't forget, lifelong learning. This is the end of your beginning. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Woohoo! Special shout out to the mechanical and manufacturing engineers. Good luck as you embark on the next chapter. Thank you, Dean Kaiser, Dr. House, and Ms. Morgan for recognizing our graduates. At this time, although you are virtually attending today, I ask all of our graduates to rise. Class of 2020, please move your tassels to the left side of your cap, signifying your graduation from the Oregon Institute of Technology. And now, wherever you are, and with those you may have gathered with, I invite everyone to please join together in a true spirit of joy and give a loud, proud round of applause for all of our graduates. And now I invite Provost Joanna Mott back to the podium for the final remarks. Congrats to the class of 2020. We would like to say a special shout out to all the Oregon Tech softball grads this year. Allie Graham. Kiana Brown. Shayna Ige. And Bailey Weiskyver. Go out. Congratulations on graduating. You have just completed a huge accomplishment and done a fantastic job. Thank you for sharing your time with us here at Oregon Tech. Congratulations, class of 2020. You survived a year like no other. Special shout out to Portland Metro ASOIT. It has been so much fun being with you this year. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've worked so hard and we're so proud of you. Go Owls. Congratulations, class of 2020 from Educational Partnerships and Outreach. Well done, kudos and hats off to you. So I too feel cheated that I can't send you off on your own to soar to new heights 
without saying one final goodbye. So to the class of 2020, all I can say is please come back, please say goodbye sometime in person, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello class of 2020. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with all of you. The state of Oregon motto is she flies on her own wings. I can't wait to see where you fly and where you go. It's been a privilege, thank you. I'd like to take a moment now to recognize all of the important people here today that form your support system of family and friends. Without them, the attainment of a degree would be much more difficult. So to those who contribute to that support system, let me say thank you. Parents, grandparents, spouses, partners, thank you for believing in your graduate. Sisters, brothers, children, grandchildren, without you, it may not have been possible. Friends, mentors, and loved ones, thank you for your encouragement. Graduates, you are now joining the ranks of thousands of Oregon Tech alumni who serve our global, regional, and local communities. You will be remembered for what you will all be doing to help bring us back to the normal world that now holds new promise and new hope. Only with your innovation and your leadership will we manage through and excel past this extraordinary time. As we close today's ceremony, all of us at Oregon Tech wish you well in the coming months and years. You are now alumni, not students any longer. This means that we may call on you to support the next generation of students just as those before you have with class presentations, job tips, networking help and support to help our students stay in school and excel. Class of 2020, enjoy the rest of your celebration today. Thank you for being here with us for this very unique ceremony. And now to close this commencement, here are some special messages from other Oregon Tech alumni. Welcome to the beginning of the next part of your life. Congratulations and go Owls! Congratulations, Class of 2020. You've gained the skills and knowledge necessary to pursue your dreams. And now you can add that you're proficient in Zoom and telecommuting to your resume as well. Go out there and be the change makers in a changed world. Just remember, once an owl, always an owl. Go Owls! We are mighty proud of you. It is gifts from you, our graduates, alumni, faculty, and staff, and people who believe in OIT and you that support the OIT Foundation. We are confident that you will demonstrate to the world the value proposition of an OIT diploma. Our hats are off to you. Yeah. <laughs>
congratulations. It's a huge thing from graduating college and you guys all kicked butt doing it. Congratulations again. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have all worked so hard to be here today. Well, or at least most of you have. For those of you nervous about entering the workforce during these tumultuous times, I am here to assure you that I too graduated during a recession and that OIT grads are not only needed, but they are wanted. So go get them, owls. Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome to the Oregon Tech Alumni Association. Go owls. Hi everyone, I'm Kurt Langer from the class of 1963. On graduation, we want you to know that Hootie, Hootie will be with you as now, and you will be flying high, and she will be giving you a bird's eye view of your life. Be safe and go well. Hi class of 2020, I'm Roger Pattison class of 1991. I'm currently on the Alumni Advisory Board for Oregon Tech, sitting in the role of Vice President. I wanted to congratulate you and welcome you to the fraternity of the Alumni Association. That's about 25,000 members strong. You have a lot to be proud of, especially during these very difficult times over the past few weeks and months. Uh, you have a very bright future ahead of you, and I wanted to wish you the best of success, whether it's on to further education or into the workforce. Go Owls! Congratulations to the 2020 Oregon Tech graduation class. OIT is a demanding university, and I know it has prepared you well for what's coming up next. My name is Flo. I'm a 2004 OIT alumni from the Software Engineering Department, and I also play for the OIT basketball team. Today, I work in research and development for Nike Innovation in Portland, as the sunny weather is showing you. Here are a couple words of wisdom for the many of you that are going to join companies in the weeks to come. Make sure that the company that you join respects you and challenges you so that you can grow professionally and personally. What matters is that you care about what you're doing and they have great co-workers to work with so that together you can have fun and you can change the world. Congrats again. Congratulations to all of the Oregon Tech 2020 grads. Congratulations! Go Owls! Congratulations, Class of 2020. This is Vince Jones, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees and a Hustlin' Owl. Hey, just want to say that Oregon Tech has prepared you well. So go out there and make a difference. Go Owls! Yeah.